one thought came to my mind, the more things changed, the more things stayed the same. The piece is so powerful, I think I really had those same feelings coming up again. When I think about our history as a people, we think about what we went through, the anger, and how everyone isn't in the same category. I think about how we make it through with the help of people when we come together. So, so another thing I think about or have been thinking about is what is happening in our country now. And you see a lot of similarities. There's still hatred, there's still prejudice, there's still bigotry. But again, we can't put everyone in that same bowl. There are people in this world, uh, minorities, um, people of color, who work hard to overcome the injustice that has happened to us as a people. But we also have support for people of other races. So this piece is so powerful because you have those feel, strong feelings of anger and you go through the history and what was. I also have many friends and many people who like to sit and talk and dialogue. And I feel that the only way we're going to change feelings in this world and in this country is by coming together. And we sang this 20 years ago. We sang with the same chorus, New Haven, which was great that they're celebrating their 20th anniversary and we can do it together. Looking forward to singing it again with new eyes. There's so much going on right now that uh, suggests that we haven't made any progress since the last time we sang it. Kuro, back around 20 years ago, was actually singing quite a lot of still. He, you know, he's got a real broad a repertoire. I mean, the songs are so different one from the next. And what really has was very inspirational to me about singing this piece 20 years ago was the fact that the poetry was written by a white woman. And William Grant still was married to a white woman in a time when that was not uh, universally accepted. This piece deals with a really difficult topic. His daughter I should say their daughter Judith came and worked with us and spoke to us and it was, it was just really quite remarkable. It's an important work and I'm glad we're coming back to it. My thoughts on it at that time, practically a little more into it now because your director was more detailed than the other director. But my thoughts about it, because I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, I grew up in the Jim Crow era. So I'm somewhat uh, familiar with uh, the context of this piece. Uh, nowadays, we find out there's more prejudice, et cetera, going on from, from the present administration. And this piece actually brings out uh, feelings. It brings out a trajectory where we're going as far as prejudice and et cetera. I think it's a good piece. I think it's a good piece because it allows the audience to understand what the black people were going through. And it showed injustices that were then, and we call them micro injustices now, my new things that are going on in this prejudice world. So I, I think it's a good projection. Uh, for the audience to see uh, what the black people were going through and what the black people are going through now. When I attend concerts, uh, sometimes I'm the only black person in the audience. And sometimes, uh, if there's a seat near me, I find some of the white people still in the north will not sit next to me. It doesn't bother me because I'm there to enjoy the music and there to enjoy what the performance is. I was taught in college, my freshman year, that music is a universal language. So I feel that I'm happy when I'm listening to this music and I just uh, ignore those around me and take in the uh, music, I take in the things that uh, the composer wants me to feel. So I think that's more important. So music, gives me a sense of well-being, 
gives you a sense of comfort. And I have learned from a message that I heard from Emma Roosevelt that no one can make you feel inferior unless you let them. So my music is a good thing for me. It gives me much strength and gives me much security. So I feel comfortable wherever I am as long as that music is being portrayed to me. Preparation for this concert has been different than for other concerts because the content of the music, the story that the music is asking us to think about, is just more intense. Uh, it's a more political, relevant, contemporary uh, issue that we have to think about and talk about. So um, wrestling with the words that we're singing and the story that's being told has added a different layer than just learning the music. and. Um, knowing my notes. It's been a more reflective uh, preparation period for me. I find that, that um, I was born in New York, so I really cannot explain how things were in the South, but from reading and learning and listening to other people who were born in the South during this time and watching documentaries on uh, television, I can understand the piece, and it's sad. Um, it's been all right. It turns out we uh, were in Charleston, South Carolina last week, and so we saw a lot of the different uh, remnants of the slave system uh, for the Civil War, and so it just kind of reinforced some of the messages, it's kind of some of the um, the the legacy that slavery has left. So it really kind of added more resonance to my prepar uh, preparation for the piece and also my singing of it. And how I think it's a piece of its time and then it's become more a piece of our time. So I would have said 10 years ago, maybe not so timely, but it seems that because these issues have really arisen again, um, that it's really quite timely for our time as well. So it's, it's definitely dated, but also I really like the, the method of, I, I like the, uh, the, the voice that uh, William Grant still brings to the piece and the different harmonizations and how he treats the material. I think it's really, really, uh, really interesting music. I'm really excited that we're doing this concert with another chorus, um, and I'm really excited that we're revisiting this piece with a chorus that we sang with 20 years ago. I think that's an incredibly powerful statement um, that both choruses want to come back and think about this material more. Um, I wonder how it's going to land in the 2019s versus uh, 20 years ago, and I'm really curious to see how the audience will receive this piece uh, in our current political setting versus maybe how it was received 20 years ago. Listen to us sing this song, and hopefully the song will give meaning to you as to respect to other people.